welcome to live stream number 187 just a little bit early here if you're watching the recording i definitely don't blame you for fasting forward today's topic is how to add more funds to fusion 360. good to be back it is tuesday it is july 17th 2018 if you care about when about this is we are live on the YouTube. You can see we already got Darren here, we got Jody here. Absolutely appreciate you guys taking the time out of your busy day to, uh, to join these live streams. Also, we should be live on the Facebook, which is absolutely awesome. It looks like we are there. Uh, Ismail is there. Absolutely appreciate Ismail on, uh, on Facebook. Thank you so much, everybody, for taking the time to join these live streams it means well to me. Also, if you're watching the recording, of course, it's just you taking the time out to watch this stuff is absolutely awesome. Just trying to add a little bit more fusion value to your experience. Just saw um, the other day that we surpassed 4 million views on my YouTube channel. 4 million views. It's almost as many people as there is in Denmark. So thank you. I really appreciate uh, you guys for, um, for jumping in and taking the time to watch this. Today's topic, how to add more fonts to Fusion 360. This is uh, kind of like scratching my own itch here, but I will um, tell you about that in 20 seconds. Down in the description area, as always, my email address, this free CNC handbook, learn more about Fusion, come to Toronto on Thursday, all that stuff. We, um, we only have one more live stream tomorrow um, and then we're done for this week and I actually also think that I'm not gonna be able to make next week because to next week I am going to Montreal and I'm going to Boston. I'll, I'll keep you posted on that. Okay, time is up. So, enough of me talking. Let me get rid of the clock. See if I can figure out the, all the buttons today and uh, we're good to go. Hi everybody. My name is Lars Christensen and thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's live stream. It is number 187. It's a wonderful Tuesday and uh, today's topic is how to add more fonts to uh, Fusion 360. Scratching my own itch a little bit here. Um, normally I try to answer uh, your questions or kind of like related to some questions I've gotten. But uh, I'll show you. Uh, I just made... I just made this thing. There will be a video on this. Actually, looks pretty good. Um, maybe this is going to be my new profile picture. Um, I had to make this, and there will be a video coming up here within the next couple of days, week or so, uh, where you're going to see that. But I needed to add some uh, font to uh, to Fusion because even though that Fusion do have uh, a lot of fonts, sometimes sometimes it's just not enough. Uh, inside of Fusion, let me just show you what I'm talking about here. Create a new sketch, open up uh, on a face here, go to sketch, click text, and uh, snap to some place here, and let's do something like Autodesk. Comes out here um, in the menu, you can see over here what you're typing in, you can change the height, you can change the angle, you can make it fat, italic, underlined, all those uh, things, and then you have all the different fonts. And there is a lot of fonts in here. Now, um, there is a couple of secrets I gotta tell you about the fonts. It's not secrets. Um, but <laughs> let me just hit OK to this and let's extrude this. So Q for extrude. And there we, uh, we have uh, something font-like, right? Um, here's the secrets or whatever you wanna call it. A um, Couple of things you need to know about fonts. First of all, the fonts inside of Fusion are Windows fonts. So it's literally just reading whatever fonts you have uh, on your computer, okay? Um, second of all, fonts, so if we're going back before we made this uh, fancy extrusion, uh, when font is, is brought into um, to Fusion, it is, font is really just pixels, and you will see here that when we zoom in, this is how we know things are pixelated, right? Blah. <laughs> uh, so that is important to know. I think the first and the second live stream I did, so now you can go all the way back to, uh, to the beginning of day, um, that uh, that was actually on fonts, uh, and I talked a little bit more about it in, in, in good depth. I'm not gonna do that today, but 
that is the font that I'm talking about and I want to add some more fonts in here. By the way, be aware of that one of the latest updates was the stick font in here. Click on that and it's actually a stick font. And stick font normally uh, only, I think, probably only excites cam people um, for like engraving and, and things like that. But, so here was my case. Um, I needed to have something like a stencil font uh, so I could, so I could keep the, on, on, like if you look at the A down here, right? I needed it to be connected um, together and not have like an island inside of the A. So I was looking for another font. Now when you're looking at fonts, um, the easiest place to go and get fonts is, well, it's easy to find. It's called Google. Uh, <laughs> if you type in free fonts, do, do, do. Uh, there is all different kinds of fonts in here. 1,001 free fonts. This is actually where I went then. All kinds of fonts. Uh, be aware of that all these fonts in here are free for you, for personal use. Um, so if you're a company, you probably, you can buy them um, somehow com by commercial license, but um, they are free for, for, for personal use. So how do you get these in? Well, you download them. And when you download them, I downloaded a couple for us here. Um, when you download them, then you get them as a zip file. So here is one called Walt, like uh, Walt Disney. I thought that was kind of, kind of cool. So I'll get it as a zip file, right click and hit extract all. Boom, and when it opens up, you get some different file formats in here. Um, now, Windows font have always, in my sense, always been TTF, uh, but be aware of the OTF. I'm going to talk about OTF in a second, but all I'm going to do is, and this, sorry, this is only Windows. If you're doing Mac, you're going to, I'm sorry, I only know how to do this on Windows. Uh, <laughs> so click on the, the TTF and do a right click and do a copy. And then on a Windows machine, you go to your C drive. And down at the bottom, you should have a Windows folder. And inside of that one, you have a fonts folder uh, where all your different fonts are. And now you can just right click and say paste. And that font is now being pasted in here. Now, here's an important step. Um, with Fusion, you're gonna have to restart Fusion. So I'm gonna do that. And I wanted to do that live just because um, this is not a cooking show with something coming out of the oven already prepared. So I'm shutting down Fusion and uh, let it think for a second and then we'll fire Fusion up again. Do, 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 do. 73 people on YouTube and we got people on, got Maria on Facebook. Absolutely, uh, absolutely appreciate it. Appreciate you guys taking the time. All right, now with that fired up, let's go and create the sketch again. Let's go to sketch drop down, hit text. Slab it in here, Autodesk, and it better be there. Click here. And by the way, all these are alphabetic. So Walt will be down in near the bottom. Um, and Walt Graphics, and uh, there to all my Disney fans, is now um, this done um, like this. So that is how uh, you do this. Now, you ask yourself, uh, this was not the font that I used uh, when you saw my uh, my cutout cardboard cutout. If you just came came in late, this is kind of like what triggered uh, the whole thing. Video coming on that. Why am I not showing uh, that font? Well, because <clears throat> this what I just showed you is the way that it's all supposed to work. But sometimes things don't work like that. So. Let me show you what happened to me. <laughs> so here you get like, a, so if you're just looking to add new fonts, boom, live stream is over, seven minutes. But um, you might run into a little snack and now I will show you how you work around that. Because what I did was I went for the army uh, font. So right click, extract that. And also in here, I see I have a TFF. Perfect. Right click. Oops, select it. Right click. Copy. Again, 
where you find your Windows fonts. If you're on a Windows machine, it's your C drive, Windows, fonts, right click and paste. And uh, if you're a Mac user, I'm sorry, um, I don't know how to do it. I'm, I'm a very new Mac user, not very good at it. Now, what I found when I went in here to, uh, oh, we gotta restart Fusion, don't save. What I found when I went in to restart Fusion was that um, the font was not available. The Army font we just brought in, the TTF uh, that we just brought in. I'll show you. Three, two, one. And stop that there. Text, snap, Autodesk. And uh, when I went in, Army was not in here. And I was like, dang it, um, that is not good. Well, and then I, uh, I had to do some troubleshooting. And uh, where do Lars do troubleshooting when Lars can't, uh, can't figure something out? Well, Lars types in, and he Googles too. Use Google, right? Google is your friend. Autodesk Knowledge Network. So I've been Knowledge Network. And uh, in here, you can search on, uh, on, on, on different things and uh, different results comes up. The answer is to convert our TFF font into an OTF font. What is an open type font? You would actually have seen that if we looked in the in the vault, oops, if we looked in the vault, you will see that that actually came with an OTF. So I guess that when you are in the font world, and now I don't know everything, but in the font world, TTF or uh, OTF is kind of like two different file formats. So what you do is you go in and say in Google again, fontconverter.org and um, there's a link of course in the description of the videos so you don't have to find it uh, you go in and say choose file you pick the TTF open and then you get to, to uh, decide here what you want to save it out as so I saved it out as an open type font OTF and hit start and then you they let you download it Look at that little banner ad for Fusion 360 right there. <laughs> uh, so now we have the Army OTF. Let's copy that one. Copy. Go into font. Right click. Paste. And it's going to overwrite the existing Army one. Of course, we have to restart Fusion. And fire Fusion up again. And, 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 <laughs> amazing how long it takes to fire up Fusion when you're sitting live on a live stream. Now, if we go and open up a new sketch, go to text, let's type good old Autodesk, and now we get the army font in, in the drop down right there. So, yeah. Okay, and I should have excluded it. But that what was I wanted to show today. Short live stream today. Haha. <laughs> uh, see some people joined in uh, in late. I'm sorry that uh, that if I if I wrap this up a little quick today, but sometimes we need sometimes we need something under 15 minutes. So to take away from this, you can absolutely add more fonts into Fusion. You can use inside of Fusion 360, um, and um, and then of course. The end of it was just to show you a workaround if your TTF don't work. Um, I also saw there were some of the converters that um, can actually save them out as SVG uh, types, but we can also bring in uh, into Fusion. So, just wanted to add, uh, add that in there. I hope this was useful. Now you can go out to 1001 free uh, different fonts, bring them into Fusion, extrude them out, make some cool stuff, share it. Hope this was useful. As always, if you like this, thumbs up. If you don't, be honest, thumbs down. Those comments, I read them all. I comment on 99, or reply to 
0.9 of them. I, I really only not reply if I don't know what to say. That's good practice. Tomorrow is live stream number 188. I hope you have a good afternoon. If you're watching the recording, thank you so much. If you're in the YouTube live stream, I'm going to jump in there and say hi to everybody. Take care, folks. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. Thank you so much. Thank you.